Hi, I'm Ernie with Airbag Systems. This is a 10 horsepower variable speed hydromine. I want you to notice the small compact size of a 10 horsepower compressor. We equip all of our custom packages with the solenoid drain valve. <clears throat> the reason for that is you can adjust the time that it's open and draining and the interval between times that it's open. The nice part about that is you minimize air loss because that air loss costs you money. It can cost you thousands of dollars each year by having your drains open too long. We have a particulate and a coalescing filter on this system. We use the Bel Air dryer, again, because of its small, compact size. They're trouble free. In 35 years, this is the best dryer I've ever sold. You'll notice how neat and clean everything is. All the piping is square, straight, plumb. It's widely used throughout different kinds of industries and so forth. This one, we're actually replacing an oilless system with a lubricated machine, and we can do that because we have the correct filtration on it. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and bring the power to the test cell now, and we're gonna run the machine. Now what you're gonna hear is this machine is gonna start, it's gonna ramp up, it's gonna bring the whole system up to pressure, and then it'll go down to a minimum RPM. Now I'm gonna drain some air, I'm gonna bleed some air, and it's going to be a little bit noisy, but what I want you to hear is the machine ramp up and down. That's what a variable speed compressor does. The best way to explain it is by example. So here we go. You hear it starting very slowly. Coming up to speed. That's the noise you hear from this machine. That's it. You can stand right here and have a conversation. Now as it comes up to pressure, you're going to hear it slow down run at a minimum RPM and then it'll shut off. You hear it ramping down. There it is, it's minimum RPM. Okay, it's at 120, on 120 second minimum RPM cycle, it's timing out now. If you can see the countdown here, it's now at 110, 108, 107 seconds. It's timing down and it'll shut off. The reason it runs at this RPM is if your demand should hit while it's at minimum RPM, rather than shutting off and starting up again, it'll just ramp right back up. Now while it's doing this timeout, I'm going to bleed a little air off so you can hear it ramp back up. Okay, the pressure is dropping. We still have 73 seconds. And I may have to open this so that's valve. There it goes. I don't know if you can hear that because of the noise of the air blowing down, but it's ramped back up. This time, we'll let it go ahead and uh, time out and shut off. But the reason a variable speed machine works so well is as it ramps up, it doesn't have that big inrush current that a, a fixed speed machine will have. It comes up to speed very slowly, runs at whatever RPM it needs to to, to supply the air demand, then it, it slows down, runs unloaded, and shuts off. And you'll notice the timer. and it shuts off. Now, when I, if I bleed air off of it again, it'll start back up and it'll do the same thing that it did before when we first started it. You'll hear it ramp up, only run as fast as it needs to to make enough air to, to uh, satisfy the demand, and that's it. A very clean, neat little system, incredibly energy efficient. We pulled a 25 horsepower compressor out of a customer one time. It was a fixed speed hydrovane. We replaced it with a 25 horsepower hydrovane, and because it does not have the inrush peaks, his, his electric bill dropped $1,200 a month. Now he had that machine paid for it. The return on investment was just a, just a few months on that machine. It was a $12,000 machine, he paid for it in 10 months. 
And the reduction in, that, in his electric bill was not because of the reduced cost of running the machine, it was because he didn't have all those peak charges. You know, your electric company, when you get to your electric bill, if you notice there are peak charges on there, what that means is after you hit a peak so many times in a specific period, your entire electric bill is billed at that higher cost. So instead of paying 13 cents a kilowatt hour, or 13 and a half, you're gonna be up around 18, as high as 21 cents a kilowatt hour. That trades, translates into thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars a year. That's why a variable speed machine is worth the money. And the Hydrovene specifically is a very simple machine. It's as simple as a hammer and just that reliable. We'll get into that in another video. Thanks so much for paying attention. I appreciate it. I hope I've shown you everything that uh, you needed to know. Please give me a call at 866 924 7822 and ask for Ernie. Again, that phone number is 866-924-7822 and talk to me, Ernie at Airbag Systems. Thank you so much.